All right, Dad, let's uh, go ahead and kick things out now to Aaron Moran with uh, another look at uh, your weather. Hey, Aaron, good evening to you. Hey, Ken. Temperatures right now across North Texas are still in the 80s for a lot of spots. Upper 70s, we've got dew points in the 60s and 70s. And we're going to stay warm and muggy as we head into tomorrow morning. The clouds are starting to build in from the west. I point this out just because I was talking earlier about Friday being a cloudy day with about a 20% chance for an isolated shower or storm during the daytime hours. And then we're expecting stormier weather to pick up as we head into the evening. So hour by hour for your Friday, temperatures by 7 a.m. are still in the low to mid 70s. We're in the mid 70s by 9 o'clock, finally into the 80s as we head toward midday and we're topping out in the upper 80s for most of the region as we head into Friday afternoon. But by the time we get to 7 o'clock, you notice a 30% chance for showers and storms. Well, we're not stopping there. It actually picks up to about 80% as we head into the overnight hours. So this still looks very similar to earlier this evening. There's going to be a dry line out west tomorrow. Storms develop along that dry line and they begin to push east. So by 7 o'clock, most of the stormy weather still is either in Wichita Falls or farther west. But we get to 10 o'clock in the evening and they are moving into our western counties, arriving in the Metroplex, I think, after 11 p.m. and then kind of impacting the I-35 corridor as we get closer to 1 a.m. These storms will be able to produce damaging winds, maybe some hail, depending on how much strength they maintain as they continue pushing east. Once they start to move east of I-35, they lose their intensity, but you're still dealing with heavy rain, lightning, some gusty winds, certainly, and this is going to continue through about 7 a.m. And then we get to the second round of rain and storms that we're talking about for your weekend. We've got a low pressure system that's going to track across the state. Now, I will say this. The track of this storm with each model run, it's starting to push a little farther to the east, which lessens our rainfall here in North Texas. I do still think heavy rain is going to be possible, especially if you are east of I-35 as we head throughout your Saturday. Again, we've been dealing with strong storms overnight. Then we're kind of dealing with widespread rain through midday. Eventually, the system pushes off to the east, though. Cold front rushes in, so a few lingering showers for Sunday morning. Then we get to Sunday afternoon. We're still dealing with the cloudy sky but the rain should be moving east and then we're actually setting up for a really nice start to the work week. So tomorrow, late Friday and into early Saturday, we're going to be watching for that line of storms with damaging winds and hail being the main threats. Then as we head into Saturday, it's going to be about that heavy rain potential and really it looks like across North Texas we'll be picking up anywhere from a quarter of an inch of rain to maybe some spots getting up to three inches of rainfall before all is said and done. But as I mentioned, this moves out very quickly. So by Sunday, we're still cloudy, but we're dry. And then as we head into Monday, you've got partly cloudy skies, highs into the mid-80s, and we're back to near 90 by next Thursday.